my ride, my ride. Well, not exactly my ride. Welcome everybody to another daily vlog, a vlog that happens sometimes before the storm, before the hurricane hits. I'm stuck here for the night, right there, I'm parked right there in Orlando, not far from Universal Studios in Orlando, Florida, but I don't feel like Ubering or going and doing too much. I just kind of feel like hanging out here, talking on the phone to my girl out in Boise, Idaho for a while, maybe watch a little bit of movies later on. But I realize while I'm sitting here, I'm still craving an Uber, but not to go anywhere. I'm actually ordering some food. Yes, that's right. Uber delivers food. It's supposed to be here really soon. Not, not that it's getting blown out in camera. Oh, no, you can see it. You can see it. She's there. I'm here. Hurry up, food. Hurry up. If you watch out there way in the distance where the hurricane's going to be making shore here. Oh, see that? See it? Look way out there. Hold on a second. Let's zoom in a little. Watch the clouds. Watch the clouds. Okay, oh, there, there it goes, there it goes. The moment this street is extremely, well, I was gonna say extremely dead, but I guess that'd be accurate. It'd be kind of weird, I mean, delivering food on the side of the road, not a home or a place of business, but just on the side of the road. Just an Uber driver delivering to a stranger on the side of the road. I mean, if, if I was, this here's a female, her name is Marissa. If I was a female delivering food to some stranger standing on the side of the road, I think it'd be kind of weird. I don't, I, I really don't know if I would feel that safe. And said, don't you love technology? Those of you that actually want to try Uber Eats, here, get $5 off. Use my code. That You can watch the car moving down the street. Come, oh, where'd it go? There it goes, there it goes. Actually, sometimes it goes off of the street. She must be a crazy driver. Is that her? Are you a unit, or uh, Marissa? Awesome. The sun is up. I am now empty with a full belly, pretty much. Uber Eats will be using you again. Moment. Right now, I think I'm going to go fight some hurricane traffic. And, and no, I don't mean the Miami hurricanes. I mean that, what, that right there. Doing my best to stay off the freeways heading home. Coming into Mascot and Claremont area right here. The back roads are no better. On my back road right now, and I've never seen it like this before. Never. Highway 301 here in Wildwood. I don't have this many people within a 40 mile radius. This is just crazy. Look at this truck in front of me. He's, he's got 50 gas cans back there ready to go. And if you're on any of the black back, back roads of Florida right now, it's just not good. Well, this is not the freeway. This is not I-75 heading north. This is just a little back road. No stoplights, no nothing. 
20 miles of back road. You guys can see it, but look at my mirror. This road, I'm not lying. This is insane. Nobody is ever on this road. They definitely are now. This is just nuts. Well, everybody, just evacuate. Come on. Get moving. Not the extent of my road rage. Well, I am back at the yard. Watch out, Segway. Oh, I am back at the yard. It took so long, I swear. It's about two miles down the street to a Chinese restaurant that I stopped at to get something to eat. It's about two miles down there. It took one hour and like 47 minutes, one hour and 47 minutes to go two miles back. It is dead stop. Right now there's helicopters just buzzing all over the place. It's like a war zone out here and the hurricane isn't even gonna be here for a few days. I don't know what's going on. Traffic from Orlando all the way up here, insane. But uh, my children did call me and I, I'm thinking I'm probably gonna have to go back to work. I don't think I'm gonna be able to stay for the storm. Might be, fingers crossed. But if I do, I'm gonna document the whole thing. My camera is not gonna stop rolling. But um, my kids called me and said, Dad, we don't have anything. We, we don't have water. We don't. I told my kid, my son knows. My son knows he's got a Coleman ice chest and stuff. He could use the tap water, fill that up while, while the water's still clean and everything. You know, you could, you could prepare that way. Fill up your bathtub with water so you got washing, you know, if you got to wash dishes or your hands or something. You have that bathtub water. You have the water in the back of your toilet. And you got Coleman ice chest things. Get, get a little bit of ice if you can find some out of your freezer or something. Fill that sucker up with water. Dump some ice in it. You got your drinking water. Because most Coleman things have that little plunger thing you can put a cup under. You got clean drinking water. But he's in Tampa. He's prepared. My daughter lives right here. This is where pretty much all the hurricanes come in uh, that, that they have in the past. If they come into the Gulf of Mexico, like this one's looking like, it might cross Key West and then come up the coast in the Gulf. And they usually circle right back in here to Crystal River, come across Lake Penasofke, and head back out that way towards Daytona. That's kind of what it's looking like it's going to do. So uh, she's a little bit more nervous. And she didn't have supplies. So my company, Cockkey Cock Trucking, as I'm getting messages, Cockkey Trucking, you guys are amazing. I got here, and they have went to the stores and filled up an entire room full of food. Food, water, water, big water tons we got bread we got uh mac and cheese and all sorts of food 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 that and to give to the drivers that because i guess there's no food from here all the way up to georgia the store stores are all empty but i'm not since i'm not worried about food too much i mean i i can i can afford to lose a few pounds anyway so i'm not really worried about myself but they let me have some food to take to my daughter one thing they gave me water definitely got bread got some bread for them got a bunch of these little hormel things that'll get them through got some pop tarts for them basic storm supplies there's a, another one of these things then you got things like these and these and these and these well that's a this not a the and this and these so I got I got I got enough food at least to get the kids through a weekend storm if need be so up uh, and let me put this stuff all over I'll, I'll put it away in a second so all I gotta say cocky trucking you guys are amazing thank thank you for keeping me on as a driver and I know you guys are up in Minnesota and it's kind of, and, and, and you just purchased this down here in Florida and now you're getting this big storm that could wipe everything off the map, could wipe your purchase totally gone, but yet you're still worried about your employees. I, I love you guys. All right, so this is gonna be a very short vlog. I'm gonna go ahead, put this stuff away, run it over to my daughter's house, check on them, make sure their windows are boarded up or whatever. I don't think they did anything yet because I might be having to leave the state tomorrow and uh, 
keeping my fingers crossed that my kids know how to take care of themselves during a storm. They've lived through plenty of hurricanes, so hopefully all the hurricane hurricane stuff that they've been through in their lives. I think their their first hurricane was Hugo when we were in Savannah, Georgia. So they they've been used to hurricanes their lives, but there's always that chance, you know. I don't know. So I'm gonna get this to them, and I will talk to you guys on the next one. And uh, keep everybody keep your fingers crossed. It looks like we're in for a bumpy night. Well, in two more days. Okay, I'm running those hurricane supplies over to the kids' house real fast, but this is what I have to contend with. Look at that country road. Look at that evac. Let me roll the window down. Yeah, look at that evacuation. Just insane. Yeah, it's pretty decent. It's not crazy good, but it's 